Hey everyone, I'm glad to be back to making tutorials here, and um, this one's going to be relatively easy. Um, it's not going to be a traditional critical strike in the sense that you have like a percent chance to deal uh, two times damage. Um, the way that I know how to do critical strike at this point in time in an easy fashion um, is where you have a percent chance to do bonus damage. And um, I know there is ways to do multiplier, like two times, three times damage, but uh, it's not as clean from what I can find out and it's a lot easier to do it this way. So the downside is that you don't get a multiplier of your damage like 1.5 times or 2 times, but the upside is that you can get whatever you can get a pure number like 25 bonus damage when when you proc critical strike. And that's what I'm going to be showing, so there's no uh no confusion and then um I will show like a little visual effect to add to it when it occurs and how to add like a little text thing that comes up like like 25 above your guy when you get a critical strike hit or something shows the amount and um, I will I do have a text version of this tutorial in SC2 Mapster if you search uh, uh, critical strike you'll probably find my tutorial post and then you'll find the text version of this um, and I'm gonna try and do more text versions so anyways let's get started here so say you have your map or I'm just gonna make a new map in uh, my case just a tiny little random map here um, the first thing we're gonna go do is go to the data editor and um, in the behaviors tab here, uh, let's right click uh, anywhere in here and click add behavior. So what this is going to do is we're going to add this on our guy and then when we once we set this behavior up to have damage response field in here with whatever percent chance, that's going to trigger the um, the critical strike damage on the attacker, I mean on your on the guy who's taking damage, like you're, the zergling that you're shooting or something. Um, so let's just call this behavior critical strike click suggest, change the behavior type to buff um, because it's going to be permanently on our guy and that's all we need to do here and first things first let's make alignment positive so this will make the uh, icon on your guy appear green uh, in your buff bar and um, in that same idea we need to change the icon um, because this one's like the empty icon um, I'll just choose this one because it's kind of easy and the tooltip uh, this unit has a chance to deal bonus damage. So it's just a little easy tool tip so you know what it's doing. And um, other than that, you basically leave all these blank because you want it to be permanent. You want duration forever, zero. You don't want to make it hidden. We want to see that you have it on. And um, yeah, basically all this, uh, we don't really want to touch that. We do want to touch this though, and this is happens when the unit that has this buff goes into damage whether it's being attacked or he's attacking and we set that so the chance here is the first thing let's say our critical strike has 0.35 uh, 35% chance and you can skip through most of this crap here all the way down to location and location we need to change this to attacker so that sets that um, when we're attacking it's gonna proc this critical strike um, and the rest you can leave here and we'll be coming back to set this once we make our damage effect. So now we can just press OK and switch over to the effects to make our damage effect. Right click, add new effect, um, change the name to be critical strike damage, hit suggest, change the effect type to be damage. Based on we can leave and we're good to go, hit OK. And then now let's change the amount to be 20 so it's really obvious when we get a critical strike. Uh, armor reduction, I'd make it 1 because that's the default if you look at any other sort of damage effects in StarCraft 2. Um, so this is how much uh, amount of damage that one point of armor removes. So that's useful to know uh, and to remember to set. Uh, let's see. Flags. Uh, we want notification. I'm just going based on the regular marine, uh, marine damage. This is the things that they have checked off. Uh, kind, we don't want to be spell, we want to be ranged, which is the same type of damage that the marine does. And I'm, by the way, I'm going to be giving this to the marine, so uh, that's why I'm selecting this kind of stuff. Um, other than that, um, we need to go down here to search flags and in add call for help, offset by area, offset by unit radius, and hit OK. And these are all just things that the marine's regular damage effect has. I don't really know what all of them do. This one's pretty obvious. This one's pretty obvious. This one's pretty obvious. I don't really know what that is. So, um, Yeah, so I'm just leaving them on like that. And um, that's basically all we have to do for this damage. So now we just go back to the behavior effect. 
go back to our critical strike behavior, go back to damage response, scroll down here until you see handled. So this is what, this is what happens when the attack occurs. And um, I'm going to search for critical. There we go. And something I discovered pretty nice is that if you have this big list like this, um, Blizzard actually made it so that you can type in the word itself. So if I type in M-A-R-I-N-E, I can go right to Marine. So I, I, in most, I thought it was just the first letter would recognize, but actually if you type out the whole word, it, it'll continue to recognize what you're typing, which is pretty cool. So if I type, if I type C R I T, I can pretty much get right to my uh, damage thing right away, rather than just going to C and scrolling down. And that's something I didn't know, so I hope that helps other people if they didn't know that. Um, hit OK. And now we have it set up. So this is going to work, but um, we need to give it to our actual unit here. So go to the Units tab, and whatever unit you have, in my case, I'm going to be using a Marine. Uh, I'm going to go to the Behavior, Behaviors Plus field here. Right-click, Add Value, C-R-I-T. There we go. I found my buff. Hit OK. And now he has our Behavior buff. And um, we can basically go into the map here and drop him down. So I'm going to drop some Zerglings for player 15 in this very tiny map I've made. And for player 1, I'm going to drop a Marine. And there's the Marine over here, so just so he's a bit safe at the start. And um, just for testing purposes, I'm going to make the Marine have 5,000 health because I don't want to die. While testing, that would be kind of pointless. Um, and also we do need to make a button so that it's visible on your guys. So if you go to buttons here, button tab in the data editor, right click add button, let's call this critical strike, suggest, hit OK. Don't need a hotkey, we do need an icon, so let's find an, uh, I think I use the attack icon. So let me just search for attack, oh it was already on it, what am I doing? Okay, name, tint by race, uh, I'm going to enable that so it's green since we're Terran probably. Tooltip, um, the Marine has a 35% chance to deal 20 bonus damage. And hit OK. Now, if you wanted it to be a little bit more direct, um, oops, I don't want to do that. Um, so you can see that if you do 35% and 20, if you come back and balance those numbers later, you got to remember to go back into the button and change that, which um, I know I've made a lot of mistakes where I've changed the effect, published a map, and then I realized I didn't change the button to reflect that. And no matter how good you think you are, you're going to make that mistake. So um, a good thing to do is to increase, and this is something new in 1.3, um, is to increase the size here a bit, hit show style controls, and... Why does this keep getting compacted down there? There we go. That's a bit better. Um, now we can see this new little bar here. So instead of 35%, what we can do is, uh, well, let's start with 20 here. Instead of 20, we can delete the 20 and go data reference, choose field. Let's go to effects. Let's find our CRIT, critical strike damage. Oh, well. In this case, it hasn't. I guess it hasn't loaded. I need to save and restart the editor. But let's just use a dummy damage effect for now. This one, hit a mount, hit OK, and now we get this. So we can insert it, and it puts this little thing here, which directly references the field in the in the damage effect. So if we change the damage in in the damage effect, it'll auto, this button will automatically be updated. But we need do need to change this um, because I couldn't load it directly for some reason to be critical strike damage. And how do you know? How do I know what this is? Um, if you go to the effects tab and hit control D, you can see uh, the raw name of the thing, or you just know because you can see it in the ID here when you double click it. Um, so back in buttons, we have that set. Now the 35% chance we also want to change, so delete the 35, leave the percent in though. We're going to insert a data reference. Um, I wonder if their behavior will load. Oh, our behavior's not loading either. Well, we can just find another one. Detector is a buff, I think, yeah. Uh, I'm just going to take a similar buff behavior. And um, precision, let's see. I think you want to do two, maybe? No. Um, what I want to do first is find the um, damage response chance here. Okay. 
So I think if I do that and then hit insert, um, that's all well and good. Uh, the only issue is, uh, other than, well, first we got to change this to be a critical strike. I think I spelled that right. Um, this is all good, but this is going to say 0.35%, which is very small. You want to multiply it by 100. So put little brackets around here and then times it by 100. I think you can just do that. Uh, we'll find out if I if I got that wrong. Um, but anyways, that's a nice feature they added to be able to do these data references um, because it makes our lives a lot easier later. Uh, anyways, so that's all set. Now we're going to go to the Actors tab to actually make a visual part of this. And um, so go to the Actors tab, right click, add actor. Let's call this Critical Strike Visual. Suggest actor type to model based on buff one shot. Hit OK. Now let's change the art model to be Zerg um, small unit death, just so it's really visual uh, when it occurs. And then we can go, next thing is in events. So this is the model that's going to show, uh, which you can actually view in here if you wanted to view it. Um, and then in here we need the actual event to create it. So when does it actually get created? Well, we need to right click in here, add event change the action damage event to instead be effect uh, source name we need to change to be um, critical strike damage and sub name to be start instead of action impact is the action you want to just do a create and that's good so it'll create this when that damage happens and um, that's basically it for the actors tab so uh, last thing I want to show is how to do the numbers over your head when you get the critical strike so we need to go to the trigger editor to do that um, I'm just going to change this melee initialization trigger and delete all this stuff in here instead of making a new trigger. So the event is when a unit takes damage. Any unit takes fatal or non-fatal any damage from, and instead of any effects, let's change this to be our critical strike one. Critical strike damage, there we go. Um, now we need some local variables. Let's call this first one uh, base damage. So this is going to be your weapon damage and change it to be a real type copy paste that and change this to be crit damage and copy paste that and make the last one called full damage and then click back on base damage click on the point 0, 0.0 0. Um, if you can't see the green 0, 0.0 you need to scroll this little bar up by default it's kinda low for some reason so click on that 0, 0. 0.0 um, function unit weapon damage maximize damage of damaging unit not triggering unit weapon one versus none is fine uh, crit damage, this is going to be a little bit more complex. Um, we got to do function, conversion, convert string to real. Click on the left bracket of entered chat string. Uh, uh, let's see, what am I looking for here? Um, catalog, catalog field value get. So this is going to be a long string of stuff to get uh, the value of this damage right here. Um, rather than hard coding in 20 here, which is a bad idea. Um, we're going to hard code it right to get the value here. So that's what catalog field value get. It lets you go into the data editor and find the values of things that you might need. So, but it's not very user friendly. So, for instance, you have to go to effects here. Entry is the raw name of this, which is this thing, and paste that in there. And then the field path in this case is just amount. So, um, which is this thing? If you hit Control D. You can, uh, what did I hit? Control E, oops. Control D, then you can see that it's amount is the name of the field. And um, another way of figuring this out is just like I did the button, is inserting the raw, de raw data, like this thing will actually tell you that, see it's amount here is the, is the field uh, that you want. Um, so we got that, so now, now we need to make the full damage equal function math. Um, where is it? Arithmetic real and variable base damage plus variable crit damage and also I want to mention that we should change the uh, crit damage instead of any player it should be function damaging player just in case it probably won't affect this map itself but in other maps it could possibly so um, that's all you want to do for there and now you want to go to actions and do text tag create a text tag with the text function conversion convert real to text and then change 0.00, .00 to be 
full damage with zero precision because we don't want any decimal points for all players using a font size of 30 at position of the damaging unit so it'll go over our head initial height 1 that's fine next thing we want to do is set the color so we want the color of last code text tag to be red oops I didn't select the right thing there okay and then next thing we want to do is uh, set the velo uh, set the duration so where's the duration set the time of text tag set the duration time for last created text tag to uh, six seconds is good I think or maybe five I'm going to copy paste this one and change it to be text tag set the velocity so this will make it fly up from your hero a bit of last created text tag to 0.5 coordinates 90 degrees from horizontal and the last thing is to show it and then we will go test so show last created text tag for all players and let's go test okay I got my guy here and um, you can see my little buff down here you can see this thing oh uh, one thing I did forget to do was actually uh, added on my guy so uh, the button if I go into the units thing here what I should have done is in marine open the command card remove stim pack and over here I should have searched for my button critical strike okay set it to passive and set the behavior to critical strike and then hit OK. So that'll make the actual button show here. Um, aside from that, when I go attack now, I should see some critical strikes. There's 26. And you can see the big blood effect happen when it procs. Like right uh, here. Um, appears to be working perfectly. And uh, that's basically it for critical strike. Um, it's not the same critical strike like I mentioned in Warcraft 3 where you get like two times damage. And I know you can do that if you just search SC2 Mapster. I'm sure you'll find it. Um, but it, it's a little bit more complex, and this is a lot easier to do and a lot more flexible. Um, but it is a flat bonus that my guy is getting. Um, now, the other thing I should mention is that in our trigger here, uh, this bonus damage that's showing over your head isn't factoring in any buffs. So if your guy had a buff that gave on him from like an aura from another hero that gave this, this marine uh, plus 25 damage, this might be getting that plus 25 in its number here, but this might not be um, because it's just it's just hard coding that getting the actual value from the data editor. So you can do it. You can. There's a way to do it um, where you can loop through every single behavior on your hero. Check that that behavior. Check the amount of damage bonus for ranged on that buff and add it to the full damage, and then display that. Um, it's a little bit more complex, and I didn't really have the time to do that in this tutorial. Um, but I may do another tutorial on that um, with regards to spell bonus damage and stuff like that. So anyways, that's it for this tutorial, and um, I hope it was helpful, and thanks for watching. Oh, and I just wanted to mention that um, I did make a mistake with the button here as well um, in the percent thing. It should actually be, take, take out whatever I had there before. Um, it should be inside here, so you do 100 star bracket and then close the bracket inside the quotations there so it should be like that and now if you go in game you should have the right and it, even as you can see here um, it shows correctly in the previous 35 percent which is nice that blizzard uh, added this preview window and um, yeah so that's the final thing thanks for watching